Thank you, Chancellor Grant. Thank you, Board Chair Pat Smith. Thank you, Board of Trustees, for giving me this honor today to speak to the graduates of 2016. It's the highest honor that I've ever had in my life, and I hope, graduates, that you take a little something from the message that I'm going to share with you today. Let me commence by extending my congratulations to John Cram and Julia Ray. John Cram, for his recognition of 40 years of entrepreneurship and decades, decades long sharing of Southern fine art and entrepreneurship in Asheville. He has done a remarkable job and he is a living legend. I also want to recognize a heroine of mine, Mrs. Julia Ray, for honorary degree, and most importantly, for 101 years of life. <laughs> Both John and Julia are inspiration, inspirations to all of us. And graduates, think about what they're going to say about you when you reach 101 years of age. I'd also like to acknowledge three award-winning Bulldog coaches. It's not often that a university the size of Asheville has three coaches who are named Coach of the Year in Division I athletics. First of all, our men's basketball coach, recognized by Hoops HD, Nick McDevitt, named Big South Coach of the Year. <laughs> Women's basketball coach, Brenda Mock Kirkpatrick, recognized by Hero Sports, and the Big South as the Women's Coach of the Year. And Elizabeth Likens, who was named the Coastal Collegiate Sports Association Swimming Championships Co-Coach of the Year. Congratulations, coaches and student athletes on this well-deserved recognition. I'd like to make one other comment and offer special recognition for UNC Asheville Professor of Management, Robert Urout, for being named to the Order of the Long Leaf Pine as the Chancellor mentioned, the highest civilian honor bestowed by the Governor of North Carolina. Congratulations, Professor, you're out. <laughs> to the parents here today, my wife and I, Joanne, we sat in your seat 16 years ago when our daughter Kenya graduated from UNC Asheville. It was a proud day for our family, as I know it is for you today. Our daughter leveraged her education here at, from UNC Asheville into an outstanding career where she now gives back to young people each and every day. And I know your sons and daughters will continue to make you proud. And to the mothers, what better gift than a child who's graduated from UNC Asheville for Mother's Day tomorrow? <clears throat> so graduates of 2016, I know I speak on behalf of your family, your friends, the faculty, the alumni, and everyone here today when I say congratulations on a job well done. We all know the hard work it takes to reach this important educational milestone. I know the faculty, staff, administrators, and everyone associated with UNC Asheville have given you tremendous support as you've worked towards your undergraduate and graduate degrees. I also know you anticipate well-deserved celebrations. So I will be succinct, cogent, and to the point as I share with you a few thoughts and ask you a very important question. The question I have for you is, what will you do to begin your legacy of giving back? to make your community a better place for all. During your time here at UNC Asheville, you have been challenged, nurtured, 
and mentored. And clearly, while the awards that were presented earlier today and your acts throughout your academic career, you understand the importance of service. You may have heard the phrase, to whom much is given, much is expected. Well, I'd like to share with you a personal story. In 1996, I was given the opportunity and responsibility of leading our local newspaper, the Asheville Citizen Times. There was some tension during the initial stages of my career, of my tenure, as we were moving rapidly to change the direction of the newspaper by taking on tough issues and focusing on, focusing on strong investigative reporting. I remember a telephone call from a reader who scolded me and said, Mr. Publisher, you have a responsibility to bring us together and not tear us apart. This was a wake-up call for me as it made me realize I was not honoring my motivation for becoming a publisher in the first place, which was to improve the lives of the residents in the communities we served. I steered away from my basic personal tenet, which is one must leave a legacy of good deeds as you journey through life. And you've heard that today about John Cram and Julia Ray. And my efforts to fulfill this principle, we refocus to make the newspaper a trusted source for news and information by spearheading and sponsoring initiatives that brought the community together to help us understand the, the diverse communities of Western North Carolina, we established a process whereby our editors and managers, we visited people and organizations across the region. This effort to listen, learn, and respond was meaningful and may be a strategy that benefits you. Listen, learn, and respond. Fortunately, I worked with outstanding colleagues and many astute and caring members of this notable community. We we're all committed to the goal of making Asheville and Western North Carolina a better place with balanced reporting, volunteerism, and support of the business community. I recall some of the stories and editorials we published, such as the Vision 2000 series, which focused on what type of community we wanted to be and what it would take to realize that vision. We held a series of leadership meetings with business and governmental leaders and the general public to establish priorities for the community, one of which resulted in an engineering partnership between UNC Asheville and NC State. We made education a core community objective, which has led to improvements in the high school dropout rate in Asheville and also in the state of North Carolina. We established a visionary theme of what type of community do we want for our children? Together, we made a difference. So graduates, we know you are prepared to embrace challenges that come your way, and you will make a difference in your communities. Our university, UNC Asheville, is recognized by the Princeton Review as the top school in the nation for making an impact and offering the best community service opportunities for on-campus student engagement. This ranking, ranking clearly indicates that you were afforded opportunities to understand, experience, and appreciate the importance of community involvement and the concept of giving back. Your student body presidents, Maya Newland and James Whalen, led an historic effort in the renaming of New Hall to Whitesides Hall after Mr. Alfred Whitesides, Jr. for his support of UNC Asheville and the Asheville community. This action is laudable, and it's an example of leadership and sophistication and understanding the importance of leaving a legacy of giving back by celebrating one of the community's heroes and bringing people together to celebrate the historic event. I'm sure most of you have considered where do you want to make your home and begin your career with that first job. Regarding that first job, remember this. If you find work that you love, you will never work a day in your life. Find and follow your passion. With your educational achievements and experiences at UNC Asheville, 
Many people will look to you for community leadership and new ideas. I urge you to go forward and take the opportunity to serve your community in a bold and innovative way and to embrace the challenge and responsibility to make your communities a beacon of hope and inclusion, a place where you are proud to call home, raise your children, earn a living, and enjoy the journey of life. Your communities need to hear your voices and benefit from your knowledge and skills to improve public policy, the environment, education of children, equity in the criminal justice system, access to affordable health care, support for the arts, care of the elderly, economic development, and bring a reasonable voice to, political, to the political discourse. The community you select will be more diverse than any time in history, bringing multivarious voices to the dialogue for equality. Your voice and leadership will be essential in the global community as technology continues to make our world smaller and more connected each day. As the next generation of leaders and graduates of this illustrious liberal arts college, you have demonstrated your ability to listen, to learn, to think critically, and to build relationships that will last a lifetime. Allow me to offer a quote from Albert Schweitzer, a French-German philosopher. Mr. Schweitzer says, I don't know what your destiny will be, but one thing I know, the ones among you who will be really happy are those who have sought and found how to serve. I offer you a few concepts to consider as you leave this university and move forward in life. Believe in yourself and be the best you can be. Embrace change as change is constant. Be a lifelong learner and share your knowledge. Find a mentor, someone who believes in you and someone you trust. Find a champion. A champion is the advocate voice when you are not around to advocate for yourself. These tips have served me well and I believe will be useful to you as you go forward with your lives. Congratulations again on your achievement. It is richly deserved. And I join your proud family, friends, loved ones, and this distinguished university in wishing you all the best with the next chapter of your life that we all believe will bring exciting new experiences, opportunities, and challenges. Allow me to close with a quote from Nelson Mandela. <coughs> Education is the most powerful weapon that can change the world. Congratulations, graduating class of 2016.